Welcome to Faith Revival Holiness Church, also Faith Revival Place International. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father, God, yeah. for all that you do, for sending your spirit in, in, into a form of a human being, should I, which became Yeshua as well. We thank you and praise you. And at the, in the millennial reign, Yeshua will be, be come by uh, should I again. The original name, it is. Every eye will see it, every tongue will see it. It's your spirit that came into flesh over 2,000 years ago. And, and it's your, his spirit, your spirit, should I spirit is with us. And they don't recognize in the church and the synagogue parish, and this is why nothing goes right with them until they recognize and have that personal relationship or understanding who he really is. They look at the carnal nature of Yeshua like they look at the carnal nature of themselves that Yeshua said not to do. And they're doing that. Your spirit. And they don't recognize it. So we thank you and praise you, Father, for all things. Amen. I'm the host, minister, and prophet, M.G. Uh, today's Teaching is uh, Yeshayahu, which is Isaiah. Shem ya Yash Paul. Shem Yash Paul. There is a coming. Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, 32, 1 through 20, 33, 1 through 24. And the word of God speaks and says, There is a coming, a king who will reign justly, a prince who will rule uprightly, a man will be like a refuge from the wind, the protection from the storm, like, a, like the streams of water on the arid ground, like the rock of cliff, standing weary of land. The eyes of those seen will not be closed. The ears of those here will not pay close attention. The minds of the impulse will learn to weigh carefully. The tons of the strugglers will speak readily and clearly. The meaning, the mean person will no longer be called generous. And the misery say to the nobles, for the meaning of the person will speak meaningless. His heart plans evil so that he can act godlessness, spread error a, a Concerning Yah, so that he sets hunger, goes on starving, and providing a thirsty of drink. The meaning, of, the meaning of the persons mean are mean. He he deserves wicked uh, desires to to ruin the poor, the needy who lies, to even when their cause is just. But the generous person devours the generous things, and the generosity will keep them standing. You women who are accompanied, uh, listen to me. Overconfident women, pay attention to my words in the years of the few days more. You overconfident women will struggle because they, they're Vintage will fall. The harvest will not come. Trembling, your competitive women. Struggling of your own covenant women. Strip bare. Wear sackcloth over yourselves. Bear yourselves in the morning. For the pleasant fields and the fruit vines. For the land of my people. Producing thorns and brutal. For all the happy homes to joyful cities, for the palaces that will be abandoned, the crowd cities desert, the orphan and the fortresses wastelands forever, the delight of for wild donkeys and the uh, pastures for the flock, till the spirit is poured out from above and the desert becomes a fertile land again. with the, the fertile land regarded as a forest. Then the justice will do, dwell in the desert and the righteousness abide in the, 
of the fields. And the establishment of righteousness will be peace. The result of righteousness, quite trust forever. My people will live in, in a peaceful land, in secure neighborhoods and controlled dwellings, just as the forest will surely come down and the cities will sh surely be laid low. Happy are you who suck by all the streams, letting your oxen and donkeys roam freely. Well, disaster your, yourself, un, un disaster. Well, betrayers, you are un betrayers. And then you stop de destroying, you will be destroyed. And when you tire of betraying, they will betray you. Yah shows us mercy, and we have waited for you. Be their arms every morning, and our salvation in the time of trouble, and the salvation in time of trouble. At the sound of the trumpet, the, the people wander off, and then they yet yourselves, the nations are scattered, and your spoils is gathered as a, stripped by uh, showrooms, and they run over it in, in swarms of locusts. Yah is exalted for the dwelling on high, for he is fill, filled to Zion, justice and righteousness, and he will be the stable of their times. The wealth of, of salvation, wisdom of knowledge, the reverency of Yah will be their treasures. Hear their brave men crying for help. The, the envy of peace will wipe bitterness. The high places of the desert, there is no travelers. And he broke the, the covenant in despite of the cities, and he no uh, regard the, for the human life. And the land is mourning, welting away, and Lebanon is weathering with shame. Sharon has become like of uh, Era, and Bashan and, and Kermel has become shaken that bear. Now I will raise, says Yah. Now I will exalt and lift myself up. Your your con sort of chaff give birth to stumble, and your the breath is fire devouring you. The people will be as burnt as lime. The thorns cut off and, and to burn is fire. And you're living far off. Hear what I have, I have done. You are near, acknowledging my strength. The sinners in Zion are frightened. Cumberland and, and has seized the ungodly. Who of us can live in the devouring fire? Who of us can live with eternal burning? He who life is right, and though speech is straight. He who scorns getting rich is by exhaustion. And he who sh shakes his hand free of bribes. Stop this ears against talk about bloodshed and and shut his eyes against looking at evil such a person will live on the heights and his refuge of fortress among the cliffs the food and water and steady supply your eyes will see the keen of his beauty and they will glaze at the land stretched into the distance the mind will Meditate on, on terror. And there is a man who did the, the countless. Where is a man who did not weigh? Where is a man who numbers the towers? You will not see integration of people. The people with the language is so uh, obscene. Whose sh uh, shudder of speech you cannot understand. Look to design, the city of, of festivals. Your eyes will see Jerusalem 
and secure abundance. The tents that will be will, will not be removed. The pegs will never be put out. And those guide ropes will be not cut. But there is a splendorous in Yah will be within us. In the place of, of a river, broad stream, but no boast in, of oars will be there. No majestic ships will pass by. For Yah is our judge. For Yah is our judge. Yah is our lawgiver. Yah is our king. He will save us. Yeshua. Let's read that again. For Yah is our judge. Yah is our lawgiver. Yah is our king. He will save us. Yeshua. For the ropes are hanging loose and bold and mass and not spreading of the cells. And then the plunder of the shares out of it so huge. Even the lame get part of the spoils. No inhabitants will say, I am ill. The people live there will be forgiven of their sins. Amen. God will turn around what the evil has meant for bad. These pharaohs that call themselves politicians, they're nothing but pharaohs of Egypt, trying to be pharaohs of Egypt. All their things will turn back in their own face, just like with the pharaoh and the, the wicked. And, and Moses proclaimed and Aaron proclaimed that they must let their people go. From the bondages of all the elements of, of that day that was given unto the wicked people. And he's doing the same thing again. He's saying, let my people go free. And get ready for what you say that comes out of your mouth, politicians of wickedness. Will, will go double back on your own mouth. For as, as God said it, let it shall be. Woe unto those that the, the, do rack up on the common people of America. For you do not represent them. You're a bunch of criminals of high places. And Father God will reveal for who you really are. And there will be none that will you be able to hide yourself from. And all will say, these are criminals, not leaders. And then shall judgment come upon you. Great judgment. And a great, great outpouring of cheers of thanks to the Father that loves them of creation. And they will be replaced with righteous men and women that will replace these wicked ones in high places. Woe unto you governors that do wicked things to your to the people that you govern. For Yah knows all that you have done. And all things will be revealed through his angels of light. That you have done. The people will see for what you have done. And they all say why do they, we have him in. Or she in. And they will say let us replace them with righteous men and women. Of honor. To honor the ways of family. To honor the ways of, of, of the areas that we live. And that will show, come to pass, and a great outcry of joy will come, a victory. When you think everything is right, and of your evil that you're doing, for it will be turned around, and you will see that God is God of, of all things, and God is still the God of America. And God will look over America and say, where is the, my little eagles? They're nesting. Come forth and be the little eagles of freedom and liberty again. Be the ones that, that nurture the world with freedom and liberty and a sound mind again. And he'll say equally to, Mo, uh, to, to uh, Mexico, to Canada of their things that he has put in them that they have forgotten. And they will be shaken. Mexico will be shaken. Canada will be shaken and America will be shaken. For these three sisters that have dirtied themselves will be cleaned. And they will know what they have done and many will cry out and, and many will be saved through this tragedy that will be turned around 
to a triumph. For I, Yah has spoken, and he has spoken well of these things through his word today. And he says these things so that you get right with him, churches and synagogues and parish. For you're not right with me, says the Spirit of God, Yeshua. For I am the Spirit of God, and you have ignored me with all these other traditions and men and women in your churches and your synagogues and your parishes, but no more, says Yeshua, for I will show you the way. And I will take the blinders off your eyes, the veils that you're in your church and eyes and your synagogue's eyes and, and the parishes and, the, and all the things of, of society, for all the blinders will come up and all the veils and, the, and people will see for what they have done. And they will own for what they have done. And that time there will be a great outpouring of repentance and rebellion also going on. For I have spoken, says Yah. For I am the God of creation and I speak to who I will and what I will do for my spirit that I have given freely. For I said it, says Yah, says Yeshua, the Yahweh of hosts. Now let us repent and let's turn from our wicked ways. For if you think you're not, that you need to surely repent. For those that are careful and have a careful mind and heart, understanding, will always sanctify themselves every day. So they can be smell sweet as the lily of the valley. So they will look as the beautifulest rose that you ever seen. And they can be a ripe fig that the Messiah will say wow to. And that from all of us that grow up and being crushed for all, all anointing will flow out of you. For these things you must understand. For the God of creation has spoken through his servant unto day. Thank you, Father. Now we speak your ways unto all of us. We say your ways be our ways. Your thoughts be our thoughts. And let us be forgiven of our sins as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but will deliver us from all evil. For thy is the kingdom and the glory forever for the Father God. And the Spirit of God should die. That is Yeshua. And should die is Yeshua. And Yeshua is should die. Amen. Be the glory forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, some of you um, don't know. Uh, the, the, the fullness of God's relationship that he wants to have with you. The first step, if you haven't done it, is get born again. Born, born again. Amen. Nicodemus was pondering what a boy born again. Yeshua says he must be born again. Amen. And he says, you, do you have to go through your mother's womb again? No. This is born again spiritually. Amen. God says through Isaiah, let us have a, a right heart and a right standing with you. So that we can seek the ways of the Father God all of the days of our life. Jeremiah cried out and says, what should we do with these rebellious people? And prophesied greatly for Jeremiah saying that these people need to... Stop being lukewarm, stiff-necked, and, and, and turn to relationship. Turn to the righteousness that I have showed them long ago. And Ezekiel did many things he had to go through to, and showed the people that they got to go and do what is right in God's stead. And not the unrighteousness they went towards and, and fear they went through that. Through fear they went away from God's ways and went ways that hurt them. And Ezekiel told them, come back. Come back. Stop being in fear for the fear is bringing you into, into a losing battle. Come back to the days of old when you are faithful to the God of creation that blessed you. Amen. So let us remember these things. Let us go forth in these things and be the people of honor again, a people of righteousness again, people that love pureness of justice and that twisted justice of today. 
with the pure justice that builds a city up and not tears it down. And holiness that, that makes the cities and the people whole again and makes them ready to do anything and conquer any mountain and conquer every, every uh, bush area and make it into beautiful things. This be the people that seek the ways of God again and not in fear that makes us go into stupidity of thinking. Let us go into wisdom of understanding of hearts and do what is righteous again. Let us be the people that say no to the things that are defeatment and say yes to the things that will bring us to victory again. Through a humble heart and an upright heart, let us go forth in these things. And turn asunder what is wrong and do what is right for this point on. For this is the ways of Yahweh and Yeshua that he speaks throughout his word. And the, the echoing, the righteous men and women of the past have spoken, that we have forgotten, that we must remember again. We must remember to be the people, we the people, with a purpose, a plan that God has for us. Now, those that are not born again, those that want to get right with God, pray this prayer. Dear God, Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as King, Majesty, and Savior of it. Love you very much, Yeshua. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Father, I pray for those that prayed this with all their hearts. I pray that their cousin, the angels, will come. Remind them to read the word and, and to get... and. Find the right fellowship with them and all the things that they need of. I thank you, Father. I bless them out in your holy name, Yah and Yeshua. And the name above all names is Yah because it says that in the Old Testament. And that's why a lot of the prophets took on the end the name Yah. But that's the correct. And, and, and Yeshua had Yah in his name, and he said previously that he took the Father's name, and that's Yah, Yeshua, and Yahweh was was brought forth as who they really are together because they're one, and they want us to be one with them, Amen. It's, and so we thank you, Father, and I bless all out with all blessings, and I say unto them to be at peace. And good tidings of great joy of know well with one another. And gladness take dominion over the sadness this day. And we thank you, Father, and we praise you. With all praises we pray. Amen. Shalom. I'll be with you. God bless. This be, this be real now. Father is being real with us. Are we going to be real with this spirit that came into the flesh and dwelt? Shalom.